Tankard have kindly sent me a brand new quad to review. This is the Ishin E010, or it might be an E010, I don't know what uh, what the buzzword's gonna be with calling it. Um, well packaged, and uh, the package got slightly damaged as they do uh, coming from China, uh, but very, very simple uh, packaging, and nice and small and compact as well, so if you were giving it as a present, it'd be pretty good. Uh, nothing really exceptional in the packaging, a few little details of the features and everything, so let's get in here and see what we actually get and the main thing I'm always keen on is that it's actually well packaged inside so your quad isn't going to get damaged and that really is not going to get damaged at all you've got some spares here you've got uh, four spare props and uh, a USB charger for the actual quad itself I would imagine and then on to the quad itself it's, it looks just like a hovercraft to me. It's a, a quite a smart little design. So it's got built-in sort of prop guards as well. So and cracky, they're gonna, that's going to be strong. That's going to take some knocks without any problem. And oh, that's a really nice feature: uh, removable battery. So that's uh, oh yes, it's got a bonus already. Uh, it's a little uh, single cell, obviously. It's a 150 milliamp hour and 30 C. Uh, so that's brilliant. I, you know, if I if I'd have bought this, I'd have ordered some more of those straight away, so that you get more flying time in. So uh, that's good to start with. Further into the packaging, and then we've just got one of the normal, uh, the sort of small uh, controllers, the little, I've got loads of these with my nanos and everything, and I run through all the functions and everything on this once I actually get it uh, on charge, and you'll probably need, it doesn't come with any AA batteries or AAA batteries, so I'll have a quick look at that as well. So I've got the battery on charge for the quad, and uh, that plugs into either a mains USB adapter or into a computer port, and uh, so that's all going. It's a good time to always go through the uh, instruction manual, um, so I've had a, a good read through it. I like this because it's laid out in English on one side and in Chinese on the other side, so I think that's a really good way of doing it. So you can just find the bits of information you want, especially if you're new to it. It runs you through everything. Uh, the, I've got an interesting point here, and I've had a quick play with the transmitter and it says that it can fly inverted and you have to use press the left hand button down and then also the uh, stick on the left as well your throttle stick but the throttle stick doesn't go in and out so I, I just don't think that's going to work I don't know why it's on here uh, if it doesn't work for this one at all uh, but everything else is pretty well explained if you're new to quads it explains uh, how it's going to fly and everything and uh, yeah it seems pretty good actually and it gives you your warnings as well where not to fly obviously how to be sensible and then troubleshooting at the end shows you how to uh, calibrate the um, accelerometer as well so uh, no it's good little instruction manual uh, better than a lot I would say okay onto the transmitter and you do need uh it's double A batteries you need for this. Uh, you just need a, a couple of them. Uh, make sure you've got them for when your quad turns up because you can't fly without them. And you could use rechargeable, so there wouldn't be any bother on a transmitter at all. Uh, just going to plug the uh, battery in. It's all charged now, so plug that in. You got a little flashing red LED on the back and a very a small, uh, dull blue flashing LED on the front. And um, there's no other LEDs on it, so it's just got a front and rear ones basically. Turn on your uh, transmitter and then simply up and down on the throttle and then it's bound. The flashing LED stop and become solid. Uh, so we're all ready to go. There we go. And then on this one, your throttle's on the left, so it's called a mode two. Uh, and your roll and pitch is on the right, and then your uh, rotate is on the left as well. You can get a mode one one, I think, but just check on the website uh, whether or not you can, which means the throttle basically goes onto the right hand side. You've got a flip button here, so you just simply press that, and then whatever direction you put that in, it will flip in that direction. You've got trim buttons here to adjust the trim if it starts to uh, go out of, if it starts drifting uh, indoors, should we say. The uh, other thing, you can uh, calibrate the accelerometer. That explains that in the instructions very well. And then you've got a uh, rate change here. You simply press that to get it into high rates. It beeps twice and then click it again. It goes back into low rates. It's got two rates to do. You've got this one here, which is the, uh, they call it the carefree mode. If I press that, you get flashing LEDs and they will keep flashing until you take it out of carefree mode. Uh, most people will call that um, 
headless mode so it doesn't matter what direction the quadcopter is facing in from where the transmitter started off it will this will still be forward and this will be right and left but uh, headless there's loads of stuff on the web about headless mode and then uh, so you pr press that again and that will stop the leds and take it back out of headless so you go into normal flying mode and then this one here we press this it will just come back head back to war to where the uh, transmitter was when you launched it uh, and then if you use usually use any of the uh, control sticks it will take that off if not if you just press that again that will take it out of return to home mode you can see a little flashing led make sure your battery's well plugged in you don't want that dropping out when you're uh, in flight and then on with the transmitter up and down and we're bound but like i say you can hardly see these leds there really quite dull and uh, it's a bit of a shame really but uh, they're good for indoor flight so let's just give it a, a flight and see how we get on so really nice and smooth very smooth i mean look at that <laughs> now that's full roll full pitch in low rates nice little flyer Oh, really slow. That's full pitch in low rates. I'll put it up in high rates and it gets a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's a bit better flying. But if you're used to flying, the other way is probably great if you're new to it. Let's see it flip. Well, well that's not too bad. Whoa, it does drop a bit. <laughs> Let's just do that again for you. So you simply press the right button. Oops. And then whatever direction you do it. Oh, actually, when it goes right and left, it seems to reasonably hold it. Oh, yeah, it definitely drops if you go front and rear. But I would say it does it both on the same. So have a quick look at it. I think it's a pretty smart looking little coordinate. <laughs> I do think it looks like a helicopter, a uh, hovercraft area. Okay, let's try headless mode. Uh, so we press this one. And then, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I can actually see the LED flashing, actually, to be honest. So. That's good. And then that's definitely headless mode. Oops! A little bit underpowered, I would say. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, good. There we go. So there's supposed to be something that if you press this one here and press a rod, it goes into inverted that's the way it explains it in the instructions it does absolutely nothing at all no, i didn't think it would to be honest so just try it i'll just put it right out there and then i'll hit the return to home key there we go and that's working straight away and i just use the right control whoops to uh, stop it coming back any further so there we go I just press that and then it's sort of heading back ish <laughs> Never particularly, they're never particularly great because it's not got GPS on it, obviously. So it's back down into low rates, and those uh, bushes and things are about 30 meters, uh, getting on for 30 meters away, it's only over 20 meters away, and it's certainly got there no problem at all. And I'll just put that back up into so that's low rate and that's into high rates. So you can see, not an aggressive flyer by any means, but uh, good for a beginner. I don't know whether that's to do with the, having the four, four bladed props or whatever it is, but uh, it certainly flies nicely. Whoops! <laughs> oh, I went to come in a bit. Oh, it's got a bit of water on it now, so that's not going to help it either. Let's see if I flick those off. There we go. Oh, we've got some more right now. <laughs> that's better. Yeah. Yeah, you've just got to give it a bit of throttle after you. Uh, oh, you can hear it. Uh... <laughs> it's quite good fun, most of it. Definitely got a bit of a buzz on it. I think that's just the water that's just caught in somewhere else. But it's flying well. I don't know whether I can get it down through there or not. Well, I think it's a bit tight for it, to be honest. Let's quickly just see if it got enough power in it. I oh, know it's still got, we haven't got flashing LEDs. Usually run it through under here, my little quads. Yeah, super. Oh, it's easy to control. Lovely. This is in low rates. Let's just whack that up into high rates. Oh yeah, dead easy. 
Yeah, and I don't get on particularly well with these controllers usually, but this is uh, this is working well. Ah, and we've got flashing LEDs, so that's sort of the end of our flight, really. That's done really well. I've just run it out. You um, shouldn't really do this. You should always get them back to you as soon as you've actually, uh, you actually get the flashing LEDs. But that is a nice little quad. Yeah, definitely. Oh no, it's good. I actually wind up uh, flying more on my thumbs now than I um, definitely a prefer a pincher. Whoa dear. <laughs> yeah, no, this is definitely easier to fly on thumbs. Or if not, I'd probably, there's a mod that I do. Uh, I'll put a link in uh, the description to actually make these uh, transmitters a bit easier for pinchers like me. So uh, have a look at that. Gee whiz, that goes a long time. I've never had one. Never a little one go so long afterwards. God, that is amazing. Yeah, nice little quad. Go on, it's still trying to go now. It's definitely had it though, as you can see. Whoops, there we go. That is a yeah, good fun little quad. Uh, not aggressive, but uh, just fun. So yeah, and excellent. So what did I think of the little e-sheen? Um, I usually like to get any negatives I've got out the way first of all. And there's a couple of tiny little negatives really, well, only one really to be honest. The LEDs really aren't very bright. Uh, they're quite difficult to see in any sort of lighting at all. Uh, indoors at night with no lights, they're really easy to see and um, it's quite good fun to fly like that. But uh, outside, you've virtually no chance of seeing them at all. Uh, but uh, the other thing that I had was a slight reservation on it was it's not an aggressive flyer, but I don't think it's supposed to be an aggressive flyer. It's a very good beginner's uh, quad, and it's actually damn good fun to fly, so that really isn't a negative at all. There's definitely a difference in high and low rates, which is nice, and um, it was good fun to fly in both of them, actually, and it's a precise little quad as well. It just it, It's nice, precise, but smooth as well, so I did enjoy that about it. It takes a knocks as well, and everything is well protected on it. I think you'd have real trouble damaging this. Uh, that's not a challenge, but um, I think you would. Uh, huge benefit having a, a removable battery, so you can have uh, two or three different batteries to keep you flying um, because that's the bit that's really fun about these, this quad hobby as far as I'm concerned is getting out and flying. Transmitter was good and worked really well and worked I, I never do huge range tests on small nanos because I don't really see a lot of sense in it because you can't see it when it gets too far away but it certainly held in the garden no problem at all and indoors it would have no trouble whatsoever. Uh, the buttons work well. They could do with being marked uh, what they do. If you're new to it, you've got to try and remember everything. Um, but once you've actually flown it a couple of times, you soon get used to it. So yeah, all in all, really enjoyed flying it. Yep, great little model.